Hey friends, this is Pastor Mike with another one of our two, three minute teachings from Church on the Hill, Harrodsburg, Indiana, just south of Bloomington, Indiana, off of Highway 37. And look at something, come see us sometime. We have Sunday morning services at 1030. I want to share a little bit of scripture here with, with, with you right now out of the epistle of 1 John, and it's verses 5 through 10. And it's really talking about facing up to the fact that we all deal with the fact that we've all given in to sin at some time in our life and what we can do to get the sin out of the way, deal with it, and go on and have a good, happy life with Jesus. Praise the Lord. It says, This is the message which we have heard from him, from Jesus. This is John, the Apostle John, talking about when he was with the Lord and things that Jesus taught him. He said, This is the message that we have heard from him and declare to you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. Friends, if we are trying to accuse God of being evil or dark or hateful or... or uh, not loving us or trying to do things to hurt us, we're wrong because God's light. Is, there's no darkness in God at all. It says, if we say that we have fellowship with Him and yet walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. So in other words, they say, oh yeah, I know God. I, learn, I love God. I serve God. I believe in God. And yet go out and do all kinds of things that are against the Word of God, uh, that are selfish, that are hurtful, that are uh, many of the sins that are outlined in the, in the Scripture. Uh, do all those kind of things. He says there's an inconsistency there. They say, I love God, I know God, but live a life that says you don't really act as if you know God. That's that's a problem there, but we got to deal with that. It'll be all right if you'll just deal with it and face up to it and let God help you with it. It says, but if we walk in the light as He is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, with Him and with each other, and the blood of Jesus Christ, His Son, cleanses us from all sin. So if we confess our sins, he'll, he's totally willing to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us by the sacrifice of the blood of Jesus Christ that he shed on the cross that day for you and me. Thank God he's raised from the dead as well. It goes on to say in verse 8, If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us. So you see, if we say, no, I don't have any sin. I've, I've never sinned. I don't have anything to repent of. I've never been guilty of anything. Then we're deceiving ourselves. But if we're willing to face up to the fact that we've fallen short and need the forgiveness of God, and then we deal with it that way, it says here that, that we'll have fellowship with Him, and the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from sin. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and He is just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. So the whole deal is, yeah, we've sinned, we've all fallen short. The Bible says all have sinned and come short of the glorious perfection of God. And so because of that, we just have to admit it. Yep, Lord, I messed up, I sinned. You might have lied, you might have stretched the truth, you might have said something mean or hateful to somebody, you might have cheated on something. I don't know, there's just things that people can do that are just, uh, that, that we need to make sure that if we realize we've done wrong, we say, God, I know that was wrong. Please forgive me. And he'll do it. He'll do it. Say, in Jesus' name, forgive me. And he'll do it. Well, God, God bless you, friends. Uh, we've got to face up to our sins, but if we do, God will help us. He'll forgive us. He'll give us a clean, fresh start. He'll cleanse us by the blood of his Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. This is Pastor Mike with another one of our two, three-minute teachings from Church on the Hill in Harrodsburg, Indiana. You see behind me, it's a beautiful place. Come and see us sometime on Sunday morning. Church on the Hill. God bless you.